All right, you all, we are at the world of cook today. Yay! Looks like a coke bottle made out of a tree. Interesting. Well, let's go in. All right, you guys, we got our tickets. We're coming in and we got to scan our ticket. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Welcome to Coca-Cola. Right, we're going to go straight into security and have a great time. Thank you. Look, we're going to get secured to make sure you don't bring anything you're not supposed to. Like a camera. Okay. So we're walking into the actual building right now. Look at that. So it's kind of a glare. Little Chinese one. Look at that. I guess we're stepping right up, you guys. I guess we're stepping. We step right up there, and we got a little cook. I'm a number one fan. Look, I'm a number one fan for food. And look, they got information in a few different languages. English, Spanish, French, Italian, Japanese, Hindi, Chinese, German, Korean, Portuguese. I speak Hebrew, so I guess mine's not here because there is no Hebrew. But I think I stopped to Korean because I thought I saw one back there too. Anyway, we're gonna do a quick bathroom break and then we'll go in. So look guys, look at that. Look at that. We're waiting to go to the lab. We got a map in English. We're going there. Yeah. 
a short movie over here. We watched a short movie about cook over here and now we get to go into the actual cook world for this magical red store behind everybody. Mr. Bear over there. We just took pictures of him. But is this where we go next? You want me to hold something? Excuse me. This is where we go next. At the heart of Coca Cola, there is a picture. Oh look, the bear was on there. I saw the Access is off for us, for us to go into the mall. They put this on a mirror. So you guys, we're basically at an area where it talks about like it's life and a little bit of the history of Coca-Cola, so I'm not going to film the entire thing down, but if there's something interesting or wow factor that you guys don't already know about this, then I'll share. But look, all of these have like little bottles that they put in to create like this laboratory or whatnot. And there's little drawers about like his life and what he did. Products you might find in the late 1800s. I think these are for your nails, they look like nail filers. Good for men and beasts. Look at the cups up there. I would love those cups at home to put ice cream or shakes or something in them. All the colors. Can you create a perfectly balanced taste? We'll find out in a little bit. Look guys, when it first started it sold three nine drinks a day. Now there's a million drinks a day, all around the world. When Coca-Cola first came on the market, the first popular fruit were lemon, orange, vanilla, pineapple, strawberry, cherry, and chocolate. All over the world. Why people all around the world are used to Coca-Cola or no Coca-Cola? Now we all know that nowadays there's millions of different flavors and combinations because you can mix them up yourself. And they have lots of drinks. They have many drinks. Look, guys, we can get bubble life. Look, it's me. I'm bubble life. I'm so is she. Bubbleization. What about this one? What about this one? Look, you guys are all bubbleized now too. Taste the bubble. Feel the bubble. Step on somebody else's food. Feel the bubble. What's over here? I think the bubbles are my favorite section in this room. Because keeping the 
secret. Ensure that the magic lives on. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is here. The real vault that contains the secret formula. It was brought to us here in December 2011. So we're going to honor the 25th anniversary. Prior to that, it was at the Sun Trust Bank in Atlanta for six years. And before that, it was at the Guarantee Bank in New York for six years. There it is. Go ahead. Take pictures of your so, line, your man, please. Do the not step on the red and white stripe lines. The recipe for the color is in there. Alright. Yeah, isn't that cool? Once you are ready to exit, please push the black doors behind these walls. And you're going to be back at the hub where you started. While you're at the hub, you should bring up our stuff. Look, you all. We're out and the polar bear is not there anymore. He went to take a break. Do we want to go to Battle Works now or Milestone? Maybe Battle Works since everybody else seems to be going to the Milestone. Yeah. I think this is a good selection for us to go to. Look, this is, this is all the machines. This is how they bottle up your products. Look at all the little bottles that were ounces of cook syrup. And your bottles would go spinning round and round in there. This is where the syrup would be. This is the syrup tank. Of course, nowadays we have them in cans and not so much glass bottles. They still, they still sell glass bottles. They still sell coke in glass bottles. But most people buy them in cans or plastic bottles. Two liters. This is where your bottles get inspected. Look at the tiny diagram right there. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Oh, that's what it is, look. There is that machine that this is representing. There is that machine, and the bottles are all waiting in the back. You see it? You all see it? Ooh, wow. It's the packaging drum. Bottle rinser. Where you get all the spins and carbonated. Do you still use all these machines? Yes, all these are real machines and they get smaller. Yeah. They can they can produce like I think it's like 104, 104,000 coats. Um, but they're just a little smaller. So this is the slowest and the smallest bottling facility ever. It's so nice to see. Look, the bottles are open or waiting for so they just, they just, like in the real, it's 20 bottles per minute here. Look at that. Does anybody need a bathroom break? This is where you take it. 
look, there's bottles everywhere. So many like different types of bottles. Oh look, we have a welcoming committee. Nothing. Go ahead, it's okay. Go ahead. Look guys, this is like all different Coca-Cola things from all over the world. If only Coca-Cola was still 10 cents, 6 cents, not even 10 cents, 6 cents. There it is again, this is the first machine guy. This is the first machine. I told you by a second. He bought the company. Special delivery car. Like these are all kinds of different posters in different places. If you put 10 cents in, you'll get a cook. That's the cheapest. I want to start or something. These are the first vending machines, you guys. The first vending machines. Look at that one. showing you everything here and just something too is because I want you to come here for yourself and experience this all for yourself. I want you to experience all of this for yourself so I'm just showing you some of it but to really experience it you gotta get yourself down here and it's not expensive at all it's only $17 for an adult so it's really not expensive but they do close at 5 they're open from 9 or 10 till 5 but and here in Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. But here are some more posters, or not posters. Here are some games. Bingo, the Coca-Cola bingo, or whatever this one's called, table tennis. There's also dominoes over there. But look, from all over the place. Come on, Like the players are actually on the cans, isn't that cool? Look, I'm thinking that this section is a newer section right here, or there's newer pieces to it here. You know why? Because Taylor Swift is on here. And she's on there again with the Special Olympics. So, this one is her best friends. So if you guys drink any of this, congratulations, you're drinking the best selling milk. But this is all the drinks that Coca-Cola makes. 
look at that. Look at that. Woo! From all over the world. Isn't this a lot? This is a lot of drinks for them to manufacture. Look at that. The bear's coming back, which means, which means that there's another bunch of people about to come in. Because if the bear's back, that means another crew is coming. Don't fall, bear. If he is here again, it means that a lot of other people are coming. They're about to finish with another, about to finish with another video over there in the video room. Look at him; he's trying to get back into his pose. Bottles, bottles, bottles. There's those bottles over there. So. We were just discussing how too many people are messing with the bottles so they had to put the thread string on them because the last time we were here the thread string was not here but it's a fabulous day to be here at the coca-cola not a lot of people or not too many people it's not overcrowded You all, as you can see, there's a few things to do here. And this is the taste room, the famous taste room. The last time that we were here, what we did is we did everything, and then we came to the taste room, which is horrible, horrible to do. Because after like five or six drinks, everything tastes the same. And I'm not kidding when I say that, it tastes the same. So what we're gonna try to do today, is we're going to go to the taste room, and go somewhere else and come back to the taste room and go somewhere else and see if it works better because the other one did work better but look there's like little cock railing so welcome to the taste room everybody and each color each one of the pillars represents a different like continent so asia is right there and latin america is right there so we North America is in the purple over there. Africa is over here. So we'll grab on something and we'll be right back. This is our Latin America variety for the taste test. And I just had the tea from Venezuela and it tastes amazing. I'm going to try this. If anyone ever tried Um, we don't think that we're going to try the North America because we live here in North America. So there's not much that we'll try from here because we're used to it, a lot of them. But this is the North America variety. Come back and try some more. 
actually live here. So we were kind of familiar with the drinks. But when we come back in, we we're probably gonna go to the Asia and Africa section. But there's also this section over here that most of you should be familiar with. It's all the drinks that we have. When you go to the fountain, when you go to a store or a restaurant and they have a fountain drink, it's basically that, just here in the cold world. But we're gonna go out and do something else and when we come back we'll go to Asia and Africa. So guys, we're about to go into a 4D movie in search of the super formula. We got our little glasses, we won't be able to film. We won't be able to film in there, but we'll tell you how it is when we come out. Okay, so we went to the 4D movie. It was okay, it was decent. Um, we took some photos with this lively line of bottles over here. We're going to go back in the taste room and it's time to get to the Asian and Africa line. So let's see what we got. Alright, well, this is the lineup for Asia. I'm, I'm interested in the fun thing, I'm interested in this thing with the watermelon. Or maybe that thing as well. So I will be trying probably Thailand and Indonesia and China and Finland. Alright crew, out of the Asian category, our favorites are the two pandas, the melon panda. This is my personal favorite, the apple kiwi island. Let's try some in Africa and then we'll see what we do. So this is the lineup for Africa. <laughs> Alright you all, back here, this Chinese one right there, this red Chinese one right there. It smells and tastes like barbecue sauce. Okay, well, so yeah, the Chinese one that I showed you a minute ago tastes and smells like barbecue sauce. But our favorite from all the tastes are this green fanta. It's an apple kiwi fanta from the Asia category. So it's in the Asia category over here. But. A lot of people seem to like it, and I do too. Like, I don't drink a lot of... Excuse me! I don't drink a lot of bubbly drinks, but I really like that. I really do. I think that's one of the best ones they came up with. But, <laughs> excuse me! We're gonna go back and see something else, and we'll see what we do. Creative cook art. Creative. You can make your own bottle of spices. Just gonna have to Everything here is created either by cook hands or by the lid, the tops. to the cookhouse. Look what's in the cookhouse. We got some cooked plates. Bubbles. Windows. Fan. Are. The regular machine are. This one right here around this is just regular cook. Around the big cook bottle, just regular cook. And 
Okay, so we're leaving the tasters and we're coming here to the gift shop. And after that, we'll be going home. Thank you. Look at the gift shop. Lots of, lots of Coke bottles. Everything you'd find at any other gift shop, only, only Coke related. There's the Fanta and Spray category. We have a Sprite and Fanta category. Little Fanta kitchen. These do. Fanta socks, Sprite socks. Back to the Coke supply. Look the jammy over there. <laughs> When they see this, they won't be even more so we'll be with music. Some of this recycled things here that you guys saw earlier in the thing. And some signs. Jewelry. People making noises. Look, I'm excited because look at this shirt. That's my language right there. That's in Hebrew. But behind it, it's all cops and mugs. 